Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and this reading is going to be for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what we go for you guys. In case this resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. And in the extended, we will see what is your person up to. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome, advice, love notes, guidance from spirit and your future love. So do check it out. I'll be linking it below for you guys. Well, what do we have for cancer? And any question that you may have in your mind too. Let's see. You're losing your patience over something. It's like that energy of, I cannot deal with this and deal with all of this, you know? It's that, Cancer. It's not, let, it's not that energy of, I can know, but it's like, I just, it's, it's too much. Something is just too much. Something is really testing your patience. Maybe you walked away from a certain situation. It really hurt you though. Some of you have a disturbed sleeping sleeping pattern. Um, you're carrying a lot of burdens. Let me see. Queen and the King of Pentacles, that's nice. Your advice is to just be happy and believe in yourself. Seven of Wands, your overall energy with the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's like being focused on something, but then feeling like it's too much to deal with. Whatever that might be for you. I see you moving into the future with a lot of curiosity. It's like, okay, I'm curious to know what's going to happen next for me. If not this, then what is there in the future for me kind of an energy. But I definitely see you wanting to leave something behind or in the past you had to leave something behind. I see you carrying a lot of burdens. Ten of Wands energy. It's almost like that baggage that you have that you need to release. Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups are falling in your advice. This has a lot to do with being happy, realizing your worth, being stable in your own self, there, and that there's a lot to celebrate. Whoever you're connecting with, King of Pentacles and the Magician. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is somebody who wants to come back around. This person has a way with their words, and I feel like some of you may be afraid to open up to this person because you feel like they may be just very superficial or they may just be connecting with you for physical intimacy, you know. In your outcome, I see you walking away from something due to a heartbreak or due to how it makes you feel. Not necessarily a heartbreak always, but maybe it makes you feel heavy in your energy, you see. So let's see, what do we have for Cancer? Let's clarify things. Why the Nine of Swords? Why the Nine of Swords, please? Why the Nine of Swords? Why the Nine of Swords? Seven of Pentacles. Are you waiting for something? Some of you are wanting to explore a new business idea, investing in something. I feel like maybe some of you invested somewhere and you didn't get the result that you wanted. It could be related to a partnership here as well that you were well invested in. 
So maybe you wanted a partnership to grow, which did not, and it is bringing a lot of sadness for you. Why the strength? Why the strength? Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. Ooh, okay. It's like somebody promised you something but didn't deliver what they promised. Um, or that you hoped for things to move towards something. You know, you had hopes that things would move forward, but this person mm, maybe proved you wrong or they did something here that was very like, mm, you know what, well, are you like this? Do you behave like this? Then I'm out. So there's a lot of disappointment and sadness around a certain situation where you may feel defeated in a sense. Maybe somebody had more than one option here. Um, feeling distracted. Not wanting to see the clarity in a situation. I do feel like there were too many distractions in a certain situation or just too much of a fog, okay? Nothing was clear. And sometimes that in itself is a big, big punishment. What do, how do we figure out what's going on, right? So maybe that's why you decided to walk away. Some of you maybe moved. That could just be for some of you. Some of you also had to deal with some workplace drama, but that's a side message. What is the Page of Wands? Ace of Wands. I like your energy moving towards the future. I see you expanding. I see you opening up to new possibilities. Um, I see you very curious. You may be learning something new. So this is good. But you're not wanting to open up to the wrong person. Why the Ace of Wands and the Page of Swords, please? Lovers reverse. Yeah, it's not about love. It's about other things that you're wanting to do to get yourself out of that stressful energy. So as a way to get over somebody, basically. Why the Ten of Wands? The Sun reverse. What is it that's making you very unhappy? Something is not making you very happy. Also, you feel like things are not moving or it's like a dark day. Like you, you feel like you're being, you're being kept in the dark or you were kept in the dark. But sometimes we create our darkness. That's another thing. We create our own dark space and we're not wanting to leave even though we have the evidence and stuff that we need to leave. So be mindful. Maybe you're creating your own darkness here. I mean, somebody may have brought something, but coming out of it is your thing. Som sometimes when we're dwelling in this energy, we're not able to see through. It may be connected to a person who was a player or maybe was very in and out. Yeah. For some of you, distance was the reason why something ended. Why the Queen of Pentacles? Five of Pentacles. Cancer, I really feel that you're being t uh, Ten of Wands reverse, Cancer. And then we have Ten of Wands here upright. So whatever it is that is in your subconscious mind or that is unconsciously bothering you or consciously bothering you, I'm not sure, you have to drop it. That is your advice, is to drop it. You have to be patient with something and you have to enjoy what you've got for now. I do see a sense of feeling um, left out or feeling like, oh God, you know, things didn't even move forward who am i this this and that lack of confidence or just not feeling good that's why your advice is to drop what makes you not feel good if it's about money then drop that if it's about love then drop that whatever it is and queen of pentacles you know be in your own energy be in your own vibe do what makes you happy and feel secure within yourself because there's something that is constantly making you not feeling good about yourself and in your advice comes that you have to drop it. 
and believe in the divine timing. Why the King of Pentacles and the Magician for Cancer? Yeah, I can see. This person could be a businessman or a woman. This is somebody who wants to come back. They wonder about you. By no means are they sad over you, though. Okay, so just putting it out there. You're more bothered than this person is. King of Pentacles again, the fool. I feel like this person wants to start things over with you. They do, but but don't. I feel like this person is just too practical. They want to be back, but they're bringing a sense of practicality, which is good. But maybe there was a third party situation with somebody. Then be mindful of this person. It's almost like you're you yourself are not wanting to open up to them. Yeah. I feel like Cancer, you're not wanting to be somebody's choice or second option. You're dropping that. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Hermit Reverse. Why the Hermit Reverse? <clears throat> patience is required and I feel like you have a lot of patience. Cancers do have patience. So that is what will work for you this month. Your own patience, your perseverance, delaying things, not impulsively rushing into things, not overthinking or maybe overthinking, but not necessarily taking it towards negativity, okay? Why the Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords? The Tower Reverse with the Emperor here. Why that? There are some negative attachments attached to the past. And if you walked away or I see you walking away from somebody, then you saved yourself from a situation, probably. Doing the right thing. Could be a Libra, Aries that you're walking away from. Scorpio, Gemini, Leo, anybody though, but... I really think that I see you walking away from something and I see you, there is a negative attachment here that you need to release. And once you release it, once you take responsibility, okay, we cannot always know why the other person did this, did that to us, but we can take responsibility for our own part in the situation. And once you do that, you will release all the burden. Do what you feel like is the right thing to do and justice will be served. Okay, for now, I feel like it's about releasing your past burdens and moving on into the future with stability or having stability in your mind. With the temperance energy, there's something that will be offered to you, but in its own divine timing. So somebody here is living in the past and they need to wake up. Your extended will be linked below, Cancer, and in the extended, I will see... What's happening with your person? What's happening with this person? Where is this relationship going if you, if you give into it? What about new love? Your next three to six months advice from spirit, your overall energy for the month, as well as any question that you may have in your mind. So do check the extended. It will be linked below for you guys. What do we have for cancer, please? Look at the bigger picture. Seeing things with maybe a different perspective. For some of you, there could be marriage involved or unhealthy relationship of some sort here that needs to be healed. Being spiritual or religious may help you to, you know, get over a heartbreak. But I feel like when it comes to love, there's a lot of healing that is required. And once you do that, there is maybe something coming in very soon for you. Somebody may even express love. But there is a need for you to express yours as well. Like, 
for example, if you notice red flags in a relationship from the get go, then it's time for you to notice them, not really believe that it's going to change. So there's something unhealthy here that needs to be addressed. And once you do that, you will see how things will change for you. What do we have for cancer? Let's see what my handwritten notes are saying. I love you. <laughs> love is coming your way. There's somebody who loves you. I see you as the one and only. Okay. So there could be don't lose hope. This is the star energy. So I feel like there is somebody in the future who will see you as their one and only and they will be in love with you a lot. But for that, you have to release the toxicity. I do see love showing up in the future, but you're required to walk away from something as well. That's it, Cancer. Those were the messages that popped out for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Check out the extended for further clarifications about your past person and what's happening next, as well as your advice. Take care and bye-bye.